Harry, what's happening with Scott? Well, we got him out of the pod. I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to, uh, find him, you might say. I don't follow. Well, he's still in a coma, but he also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. That's incredible. He's okay? Vitals are steady, but I'm letting Sam take the lead on this one. Though in a coma, Scott's mental processes remain intact. So is he okay? You can ask him yourself. A moment while I establish a link with his implant. Proceed. Scott? Can you hear me? Is that you, Sarah? I don't understand. What's happening? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma on the Hyperion. Do you understand? Wow, really? How are we talking? Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. Guess I'll take your word for it. I can't feel anything, but I still hear you. Is Dad okay? I'm not sure how to say this, but he's dead, Scott. What? There was an accident. What do you mean? Accident? How? I mean, Dad... I know. It was all very sudden. Nothing anyone could do. I don't believe it. I'm sure he'd want to be here now. Did we at least find home? Dad kept talking about how amazing it would be. There's been some complications. The Golden Worlds didn't exactly deliver. I don't understand. I thought... Scott? This is... This is all wrong. This... is a nightmare. Scott, it's okay. I, I didn't mean to. His pulse rate is increasing rapidly. I don't feel well. That's enough for now. He needs to rest. Scott. Scott. Sarah. Touchy-feely time. Don't you think you slept in long enough? I thought it was Saturday, then Sunday. Then I figured someone turned the alarm off. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. No one could have saved him, Scott. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. That would have been a hell of a thing to wake up to. I'll miss him. But right about now, he'd be telling us to stop moaning and get on with it. There's no shortage of things to do. Yeah, I hear you're the great and honorable Madam Pathfinder. Please, it's nothing like that. As soon as I get my gear, well... Be careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? I know you don't like being reminded you're my little brother, but you are. So relax, and let your sister take care of things. <sighs> if you say so. More sleep for me. You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. <laughs>